there are layers upon layers of jobs that Dialog performs. Dialog is one of the most effective and efficient tools in our writer's toolbox. When it's blended skillfully with narrative, Dialog creates a rhythm for story and seamlessly moves the plot forward while keeping the reader's attention at the same time. This list is an overview, and we're going to, going to go over each thing as all the tasks as we move along. Dialogue lends character unique voice. It evokes emotion. It creates drama. It adds humor, reveals character development, illustrates theme or moral premise, creates white space, controls pacing, develops character, displays goal and motivation, sets tone, heightens tension, advances story, creates pacing, moves plot, transition scenes or passages of time, reveals information, discloses and creates conflict. Dialogue reflects a character's education, their history, their moral compass, their attitude, their beliefs, their relationships, their confidence or their insecurity. I personally love reading screenplays as a study, and one of the best ones that I've read is the re from the remake of True Grit, a screenplay by Joel and Ethan Cohen, adapted from the Charles Portis novel. Another screenplay I particularly like and learned a lot from is Notting Hill. Read all genres. Don't just stay within your own genre, but Keep yourself fresh. Watch movies, eavesdrop, take notes, listen and learn to how people talk. Pay attention to how strangers speak to one another, how they converse, how married couples interact. I don't believe you can be a writer without being a reader. Read classics. Read bestsellers. Google favorite movies and read those Screenplays. Many, many of them are available in PDF. Be observant. You can't write realistic characters without watching people. Always be teachable. Be interested in people. Sit in a coffee shop and listen. Sit on a bench at the mall. Listen to the people behind you at football games. Listen to the way people express themselves, the flow of their words, and how it changes depending on their emotions. And pay attention to the differences in the way men and women hold conversations. Note the differences in how they present information, how they ask questions. 